The F command is another handy diagnostic command and what it basically does, it programs the uh, AD 9850 to output a frequency. So you'd enter F and then the frequency. So for example, if I wanted to put out a 5 megahertz signal, I would say F and then 5 megahertz. Press enter. So now a 5 megahertz signal is being generated out of the uh, AD 9850. There is no command to turn the frequency off so what you need to do is you need to use the R command the reset command so by pressing by entering R what you basically do you're you reset the um, the SNA so if I was to do that again and you looked at what happens to the screen so I'm just going to enter R again you'll see the Arduino resets itself The I command is an extremely dangerous command and I would caution you to use, use that with extreme care. If you enter I on its own, it's the same as using the reset files option on the LCD which I've described previously. But there's another variant of the I command. If you press I space Z, that zeroes out the entire memory of the SNA. It deletes all configuration parameters. It's as if you've just um, installed the, the SNA for a first time. So think of that, the IZ command, as doing a factory reset. You're resetting the, the entire SNA back to the original default state. The L command is probably the most useful command that you will use because that allows you to go and list out files. So if you were to just press the L command by itself, so press L, enter, that lists out all the files uh, that have been captured. So these are all the sweeps that have been captured. So it's giving you the sweep number, it's giving you the, the type of sweep. So here's a filter, a 3db bandwidth uh, sweep, a SWR sweep, a uh, return loss, impedance, another SWR sweep, a filter sweep, and a crystal sweep. It's giving you the start and stop frequency, the increment, the resolution that was used, as well as the maximum and minimum dB values that were required. The LH command allows you to see the header that's associated with a file. It's basically showing all the sweep configuration data that's associated with that file. So for example, if we wanted to see uh, the file header data associated with sweep 7, we would type L, H, and then 7. And it comes back and it gives us its file number 7. That's the address in memory for it. It's giving us the start and stop uh, frequency. It's giving us the resolution, which is 1 hertz. It's giving us the markers and as well as the dB associated with those markers. And it's giving you some other information here, which is useful. So the LD command is used to dump the actual sweep data. So it's giving you the raw data that's captured. So for example, if we list our sweeps again, and let's do a dump of sweep number 7, the, the crystal filter sweep. So we do a LD7, and it dumps out the actual data. So if we go up to the top, So because it was a crystal sweep, it's giving us all the crystal motional parameters that were uh, captured, and as well it's giving us the raw data uh, that's been captured for the sweep. So it's giving us the frequency, the ADC value, the DBM value, it's giving us the DB val value, how far down uh, from, from the actual power level that's put out from the AD 
9850 at that frequency and then it's giving us the deviation as well and it does that for all the captured data so the S command here is used to do a sweep from the command line so the way it's used there's uh, you would enter the S command followed by a series of letters here which uh, perform different functions so for example if you were to include the M it would save the sweep as a file in memory if you use the F R X or S you're generating a, a, a filter a return loss a impedance or SWR sweep right now a crystal sweep is not supported and then you could put in the start frequency the ending frequency and the increment I would avoid using an, an, an increment here I would leave this blank and let the program calculate the actual uh, increment so for example if we wanted to do a filter sweep uh, between say 1 megahertz and 2 megahertz we would do sweep filter 1 megahertz to 2 megahertz then we press enter and it's uh, actually displaying the data from the sweep on the screen here there's one command that's not listed here and that's the M command and M is for measure so the M command allows you to take a single reading from the 80, 8307. So for example, if you wanted to uh, generate you know, several calibration points, you could use this command and feed in different dBm readings into the uh, 8307. So the command is very simple to use. You just use the M and it comes back. It gives you the ADC value. The voltage and it's using the current dbm uh, calibration and it's showing you the dbm values and as well as the, the db but since there's no frequency assigned to this it doesn't know what the um, output is from the uh, 9850 it's also giving you the microvolts and microwatts that uh, that's associated with that dbm reading there's also another variant of this command. You could do M and a number, and so then that'll capture 10 readings. So there it's taken 10 readings and it displays uh, the data. If you wanted to measure, say, 50 readings, you could do M50, and it's going to generate 50 readings. So you could do this to check the variation of a signal that's coming into the uh, 8307.